Hey what up guys, my name's Jack, and you guys know the trailer for the next Black Ops 3 Zombies map came out this morning. It's called Garad Krovi, or Garad Kro- Gorod Kravi? Garud- Garud Kravi? The City of Blood, whatever. You guys probably saw the trailer, it looks freaking dope, but in this video, I kinda wanna just forget about everything that's obvious. Like, you guys saw the Raygun Mark III, you guys saw the PPSH in the box. I wanna forget about that stuff, and I just wanna make this quick little simple video and show you guys 10 of the most important secrets, not the obvious stuff, but 10 of the more subtle things in the trailer that you really should know about. So I already uploaded my first reaction to it this morning, if you wanna check that out on the screen, uh, go for it, but uh, now, I wanna go through the trailer at its highest quality and I point out some of the very subtle things you know some of the secret new additions that Treyarch decided to very carefully hide in the trailer and uh, if you noticed any of these during your first watch major props to you because these were pretty difficult to catch uh, you kind of got to go through the trailer like frame by frame and really look carefully and uh, while some of these are absolute game changers other ones are almost like little Easter eggs that I just want to make sure that you see because you guys want to know everything and anything that this trailer had to offer so the first thing that you may not have caught is this sign right here. Uh, the first couple of seconds of this trailer gives away one of the sections of the map as Belinsky Square, which is interesting because of course this is Nikolai's last name. We have Nikolai Belinsky, one of our main characters, and uh, we know that this map is all about him. Uh, he's the one narrating the trailer. Now we, uh, we have the same sign a little bit later with Quick Revive right behind it. And uh, in addition to that, later on we see another sign that says Supply Depot and it has Speed Cola right behind it. So uh, unless these perks move around and rotate around on the map. That's two perk locations right there that they showed us in the trailer. Uh, and on top of that, I believe that we get a very quick look at the layout for the map right here in this shot. Uh, it's hard to tell, but it looks like there's about four or five main areas to the map. Like I said, this is about as high quality as it gets. And uh, other than those four or five sections, I'm not going to assume anything based on a blurry image. Now, the second thing that you guys probably didn't catch has to do with these robots right here. And uh, look, I get it. All of our first reactions to these guys were like... Are these aliens? Are they UFOs? Where did they come from? You know, I, I, I thought this was zombies. Uh, well, if you look closely, the trailer answers that for us. They all actually have the numbers 935 painted on them, meaning that these things were experiments and creations of group 935, uh, which we know Richtofen and Maxis were a part of uh, when they helped create zombies. So I think that that's really worth knowing. 935 made these things. And it's interesting. I think that on the blurry image of the map that I just showed you, you can see the 935 logo as well. So uh, I don't know. That's something worth knowing. Number three though, within the very first couple seconds of the trailer, Jason Blundell was like, fuck it mate, I'm gonna show you guys where the power switch is, and th that's exactly what he does. Uh, you can see right here on the left, it looks like, and I don't want to jinx it, uh, that maybe we have a normal power switch this time. Uh, hopefully we don't have to go swimming in zombie infested waters, uh, or clear spider webs, or turn on three power switches this time, uh, just to get a dang perk. I don't know, for all we know, there's ten of these guys all around the map. Now the fourth thing that I want to talk about, of course, is the dragon. Now, we've predicted dragons to be in this map for a while, and uh, we definitely got one. Uh, in fact, we got a lot more than one. Uh, there's one there, there's one there, another one there, a fucking dead one right there. There's not just one single dragon. This place is infested with the things. And uh, if you look closely, uh, our characters actually ride them in the trailer. And it's really hard to catch unless you saw somebody else's video, uh, or you paused the trailer, or maybe slowed it down and like really squinted. Uh, but if you look closely, you can see that our four characters characters are definitely riding this thing. And that's why there's a bunch of other ones flying in the air. You can see here that they're not just on the back of the dragon just hanging on for their life, but they're actually in a little protected square thing that somehow got harnessed to the dragon. And not only can we ride the dragon, but as you guys saw, we can kill zombies with its fire. Uh, in fact, we see a similar red light to the warning light on Origins uh, that may or may not be related to where the dragon actually breathes the fire. Uh, I don't really know, but my point is, yeah, we thought that there was going to be a dragon, but we didn't realize that there was gonna be so many and nobody knew that we'd get to freaking ride them. You're welcome, mate. And uh, while we're over here, the fifth secret that you might have missed is right in front of your face. Treyarch has put mounted machine guns in zombies, but not just any machine gun. This looks exactly like the MG42 that we saw in World at War. And I'm telling you guys, Treyarch fucking knows what we want. Uh, we got the PPSH and the MG back from World at War. Uh, unquestionably, some of the most memorable guns uh, from the original Nazi zombies. Uh, so 
thank you for that, Treyarch. And uh, moving on to the sixth thing that I want to show you guys, it's in the same shot. Uh, we have these regular looking zombies over here on the right, right? And then we have these big scary ass things on the left. We're going to have multiple types of zombies in this map coming at us at the same time. Uh, and they don't look like they're fucking around either. I mean, look at him. Uh, he's got sharp claws on one hand, and then he's got this crazy fist thing on his other hand. I mean, it looks like they gave the zombies wonder weapons now. And uh, with that said, we see another type of zombie right here. And this time, it's a skeleton. And there's a few interesting things about this guy. Number one, his eyes are blue and all of the zombies' eyes were red in the trailer. Uh, number two, he's been electrocuted and he's staying that way. So it looks like he's going to shock us if he gets too close. And uh, number three, we don't see any regular zombies around him. Just another skeleton behind him. So what I'm thinking is that maybe we're going to have another Easter egg like this in Dreisendrock where we can turn all of the zombies into skeletons, uh, you know, replace them, in other words, by doing some sort of task, uh, like we had to shoot the bows in certain areas last time. Uh, but it might be important to know what exactly made him all electrocuted, you know? And uh, I do have a couple of ideas. One, we had these robots that seemed to be shooting blue lightning, and uh, two, we had this thing, uh, which actually brings me to the seventh secret in the trailer that I do want to discuss. Uh, during one part of the trailer, you look up and you see the mystery box light, uh, but it's not alone. There's another green light just like it right next to it. And I've seen a ton of people freaking out on Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, everywhere, uh, wondering what this is. Well, if you skip over to this part of the trailer, we see this thing fall from the sky. And what do you know? It shoots a green light into the air. But what the hell is it? That's the question. Well, whatever it is, it's shooting that same blue electricity at the zombies that are trying to attack it. Uh, so whether this is something that you want the zombies to be lured over to, like a monkey bomb, uh, or whether you have to protect it to maybe get something out of it, this thing is apparently so important that Treyarch was like, yeah, not not enough lights in the sky, add another one, and that's what the green light is. And uh, in this same shot, we have the uh, eighth little thing that you probably missed, and that is the Ray Gun Mark III in action. Uh, you can see the Ray Gun bullets going off everywhere, and if you zoom in right there, boom, Dempsey is holding that dual wheeled baby and doing work. So uh, other than that shot that we got in the mystery box, we do have another glance at the Ray Gun Mark III in use. And uh, for the ninth thing, we also get a very quick glance at two new traps that they've added to Black Ops 3, uh, or rather old traps that they've upgraded, it seems like. Uh, we have the electricity one, which is simply a classic. We had it in, what, Verruck, Shino Numa, uh, all that. And then we have this trample steam looking one uh, that just flings them away. Uh, it's not anything huge, uh, but a lot of people missed it, and I wanted to make sure that you guys know what's coming. And uh, finally, I think that it's super important to point out that, as expected, all of our characters are rocking the blood vials, uh, not just Richtofen. Uh, as we know, the characters teleported somewhere in the last map, Zetsubo no Shima, uh, to go get these extra blood vials, and uh, this new trailer confirms that yes, all of the characters still have them, and they're going to be using them. Uh, whether it's a big role in this map or the next one, I don't know, but it is a very important part of the storyline. Uh, so those are the 10 things that I really wanted to make sure that you guys knew about. Not everybody noticed them, and they are pretty crazy. Treyarch is really good at putting these sneaky little things in small cuts and, and quick edits and stuff like that. Uh, that end up telling us a lot about the map. Uh, two quick little extras I want to talk about before I end this video. Uh, yes, the Origins Giant is laying on the map. Uh, it looks like it broke down or crashed somewhere after our characters used it to get here. And uh, yes, I did see this gun in the mystery box that looks like the FAMAS. Uh, my guess is that it's the FFAR from multiplayer, which ultimately is super similar to the FAMAS. And uh, while it's no PPSH, it is super cool that we're going to be seeing it in this next map. Uh, it seems like they're really revamping these weapons and bringing us something fresh, which is awesome. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, I really appreciate it and I hope that this video pointed out something that you didn't quite notice because it looks like this map is going to be jam-packed with stuff to do, which is really, it's really all we want, isn't it? Uh, make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you're stoked for this next map. You guys already know I'm going to have a ton of videos leading up to the release and once July 12th hits, oh boy, you guys don't even know what's coming. This is going to be insane, I promise you. But that's it guys. I hope that you have a great day and thank you for making my channel and my video video a part of your day. I just appreciate that more than you know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. It has been LM.